Hi, my name is Brandon Nelson, and I am the Senior Director of Software Engineering at Line 6. When we were originally designing Helix, we wanted to work around the limitations we were running into on some of our earlier products where we had to focus on what was most important in the sound and maybe leave out some of the some of the subtleties. So when we moved to Helix, um, not only had processors gotten faster, but we were able to design in two processors, so a, a dual processor system. At that point, we're we're now able to start breaking down the the amps and the and the effects into just specific sections. So we can model, you know, everything from the input up to the up to the output jack, every filter separately, every tube stage separately, you know, interaction with the cabinet all of those things that we were kind of having to compromise on in the past because we just didn't have enough horsepower. One of the challenges that we run into with uh, dual DSP and multiprocessor systems is that every time we pass audio to another processor or another core, uh, the latency goes up. So uh, it's a lot more beneficial to us to have higher performance and fewer cores than to have just add more and more and more and more cores because we'll just keep you know doubling, tripling, whatever our latency. About uh, five years after the initial Helix launch, our users were really asking us about, you know, can we get better cabinet models? Can we get better cabinet models? So we developed a new process for capturing IRs that were much more accurate and real. In addition, we were able to unlock some parts of the some parts of the processor that we weren't using before. So, you know, not only were they more accurate and real, but they went from being fairly computationally expensive, taking up a lot of your processor, to being virtually free. So, um, you know, it made it so users could just load more blocks, load an additional reverb, you know, get more, more complex uh, signal paths. And that's something we do on our products. We're always looking for places where we can improve and where we can you know, squeeze out more performance or give more features to make better and better products as we go on.